Hey guys and welcome to the next video of this tutorial series where I'll be showing you guys how to make this quad respawn in any other vehicle you want to respawn. So let's first drive it away from uh, that place. Let's put it over here. And then let's get out. And uh, let's uh, PCML, which is a rocket launcher. And let's blow the shit out of this. Now in five seconds it should respawn. See, and it tells you it's respawned, and that almost killed me. <laughs> and it respawned back here instead of there, so this is good because if you're driving this into a combat place, you don't want to respawn it right where it blew up because that's stupid. Anyways, let's show you guys how to do this. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Can make it respawn a certain amount of times too. So there's five, so we should see if it responds. Got. So yeah, so it should have respawned by now, but it hasn't respawned. That's because you can set how many times it respawns. So let's go check this out. Uh, this is all you need a vehicle respawn, which is what you get by going to systems and typing in just respawn. And it's this, so you just drag this out here, and that would be that. And you just need a car of your choice, or multiple cars. So you go to vehicle respawn, you double left click on it, and delay 5 seconds. This is in seconds. So if I want it 2 minutes, I do 120. If I want it uh 3 minutes, I do 180 and so on and so on. So to get 10 minutes, you would times 10 by 60 and that's how many that's the number you would type in here for a 10 minute real delay. Deserted distance. If I typed in 10, that's 10 meters. So what does this mean? What does deserted distance mean? Here I'm going to show you guys right now. So since it's 10 meters, if there's not a player within 10 meters of this car uh, radius it will s note this vehicle is deserted let's respawn it and it's start starting point so now it would be respawned after a certain amount of seconds and then that's what deserted distance means so let's get back onto the module tickets I put one ticket that means it's going to respawn once so total amount of vehicles of quads going to be on the map is two because it starts with a quad and then it respawns so that's two quads. If I put four, that's five quads. So one, two, three, four, the response. People, if you put five, that means there's going to be a total of six of them because of the first one. Four is for five, nine is for ten, and so on and so on. Expression, uh, a line of code, you can make it start on. Uh, you can just put any code in here if you know about coding and scripts and stuff like that. So I'll leave that, I, that up to you. <coughs> position uh, so it's pretty easy so it will respond where it starts like we saw it had brought over there and then it came back over there where it was joy to respond uh, in a certain marker that you guys put and uh, I don't really know what those do a uh, position uh, not important uh, uh, not what I found is not really important at all uh, rec delete with an explosion effect so here's the thing Big gets destroyed, and I want the explosion to still be there. You do preserve. If I want it to be deleted, you put delete. Delete with an explosion effect. If it becomes deserted distance, it will ex explode it, and then it will respawn it. So that's how that works. Notification is what you saw up here, up here when it respawned. You can disable that. You can enable that. Force respawn. If I trigger the module and force response enabled, it will respond to everything again. Uh, respond when disabled. If the car has no we way to move and its engine's out or its wheels are all gone if you and you have this enabled, it will respond eventually with your delay, taking your delay into account. So that's that in a rundown. Let me show you guys one more thing. So how do I get two vehicles to respond? Uh, you don't have to have a whole new module for it. You can just delete that and you can connect this to here and it will do the same settings for here. Except for when this gets destroyed, it will respawn here. When this gets destroyed, it will get respawned here. So it takes that into account. And you can do this with planes and anything you guys want. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys actually uh, started leaving comments so I could see what you guys were thinking and what you guys wanted to see and if I should do something to make my videos better or something like that. 
or what you guys would want to see from my channel besides tutorials and wasteland and stuff like that so I'll see you guys in the next one uh, have a good day have a good night have a good morning bye bye